This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13, and today I'm going to show you a taillight build that I'm doing without the lens covers on first, and then I'm going to finish up the assembly and then do the final completed video. So here we go. We have an LED bulb as the marker light on the side. Instead of the turn signal reflector bulb, I blocked that out with a piece of acrylic, and we added three switchback strips. As for the two parking light and brake light sections, we have the high lens LED projector assembly with the G37 shrouds as well as some dual intensity red LED halos from Diodynamics. As for the reverse section, we just have a super bright profile peak white LED bulb. And so now I'm gonna put these lenses back on there and you will be able to see what it looks like all together. But I wanted to showcase these before I resealed them so you could understand the type of build quality that went into this and how good it looks because this is gonna be a really cool thing. So game on, let's get these things together. Okay, so here they are. The build is complete and they are beautiful. I'm super excited to show them off. I just did a nice light buffing over the lenses since these were used lenses. So they had a few little minor scratches and such on them. But as you can see, the red plastic, there's nothing you can do about it. It is red plastic, that is amber plastic, and that is clear plastic. However, the black background now completely changes the way that these taillights look. Now I'm gonna demonstrate all of the features that I have installed into these things. However, please understand that this is just the way that I envision it working. When it's actually installed on the vehicle by whoever installs it, ultimately that is gonna determine how these taillights behave. Now the first product that I wanna showcase are the high lens that are in here. And these high lens have a parking light mode or driving mode or whatever you wanna call them. It's basically just the light itself is illuminated. So this would be a really great parking light or driving light. Basically it's just a not really bright light but it is illuminated. So of course, you know that something is lit up. Kind of got that little flower fractal pattern in there. So that's pretty groovy. However, I personally just don't think that this is gonna be enough parking light. It's not quite bright enough. So I want a little bit more. And so that is why I added these dual intensity red diode dynamics halos in the background. I'm sure that those high lens running light would be bright enough in normal conditions at night. After all, it is during the day right now. However, these halos of course give a way more intense look it's just a really cool effect this to me should be the parking light slash driving light so now the follow-up question should be what about the brake light because the brake lights when we want things more intense so my solution to that again was those dual intensity halos so when you push the brake light those halos just go significantly brighter brake light on brake light off real simple and real elegant. Now, just for the sake of argument to illustrate my point earlier, perhaps he wants this as his running light and then he wants this as the brake light. Brake light off, brake light on, running lights on, brake lights and running lights on. It's totally up to him how he wants to wire it up. Personally, I like the other way, but it's not my vehicle, so he can do whatever he wants. Now, before I jump off the topic of these high lens, of course, remember that these are traditionally used as LED high beam supplemental projectors. So they do have the ability to do a stupid light output like so. This is really bright. Now, what I'd really like to see him do is to have these wired up to an auxiliary switch where basically he can flip a switch and turn on the FU lights for anybody who decides that tail tailgating him is a good idea or anything similar to that. Alternatively, these could be wired up in the reverse light situation as well because they do cast out a pretty decent amount of light. However, if I was to share any concern, it would just basically be that these are designed to be in headlight housings that are well ventilated and have a lot of airspace to work with. Whereas in these assemblies, they're pretty tightly packed in there and there's no breather vents or anything on the backside of it. It basically just breathes into the cabin via the imperfect seals of the bulb holders. So I'm rather hoping that he doesn't necessarily use them as brake lights and certainly won't be using them as running lights because they're just going to be too silly bright. Just for reference, this is across the wall and we've got the two reverse lights going on right there. So that's bright. We definitely don't want that in traffic or anything like that. Unless, of course, the person behind you deserves it. Okay, so this is what our turn signals are going to look like on this thing. Again, three strips blinking in the amber light color mode and it's through an amber lens. So it's really bright. It looks really good. Alternatively, you could wire that up to be turn signal and also the halos on the dim position. It's totally up to him, but this is how I would do it. And I think this looks really good. Now, finally, this would be the reverse lights, or at least if it's just utilizing the reverse light area. Again, we could be using those high lens and projector mode as a supplementary reverse light. However, I think these are gonna be plenty sufficient. They're basically just LED replacement bulbs. So it's nothing fancy, nothing special. You could have these in your housing, but a lot of times I hear people concerned about when you paint reflector bulbs, whether or not you still have usable light output. And the fact of the 
the matter is, is as long as it's a high quality glossy paint and not some satin black nonsense spray paint, it's extremely shiny and it's definitely going to project light out. So it looks really good and I have no concerns with this whatsoever. So here's our final product with everything lit up. The only thing that's not lit up are those little side marker LED bulbs that are in there. And honestly, that's just because I ran out of wires and don't really care enough to plug that in because this is all the cool stuff that I did and that little side marker light's not really that fancy. However, as you can see, there's a lot going on here and it looks really cool and I'm really pleased. If you have any further questions regarding this build, please refer to the video description. Pricing and product information for this will be in there. Every set is custom build to order. Taillight builds are generally reserved for existing clientele only and this was, of course, a pre-existing client. I've done several builds for him before in the past so I was very excited to be able to take this one on for him. However, if you think that you want to have a taillight built by yours truly, by all means, there's a website in the video description, so you'll have to submit a build request via the form on the website to be considered for the future build queue. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. I hope you enjoyed this sweet taillight build, and I hope you also have a wonderful day. I shall talk to you later. See you.